Ever wanted to know what life would be like if Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber was evil? Well, now you can when you go watch Taken 3. Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review Take 3 in. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking stupid. Taken 3 stars Liam Neeson, Maggie Grace, Fram K. Jensen, and Forrest Whitaker. It is directed by Olivier Megaton, who has directed Taken 2, Columbiana, and Transporter 3. And what this film is about is that Brian Mills, played by Liam Neeson as the returning main star, he is framed for the murder of his ex-wife because someone has come to murder Fram K.'s character. It wasn't Liam Neeson, but he is to be framed so now he's out for the run in a fugitive type-esque movie and for Liam Neeson to clear up this whole mess. So going into Taken 3 I was actually pretty pumped to see this movie because look the original Taken I thought it was flat out awesome and then you go into Taken 2 and oh my god was that film the opposite of great it was terrible Terrible! It was a bad movie! We get a different story this time around, and even if, though it is from the same director of Taken 2, I was hoping, come on, be better than Taken 2. That's all I wanted. It didn't have to be amazing or anything, I just wanted it to be better than Taken 2. And, in my opinion, is Taken 3 better than Taken 2? Yes! Thank. God! In my opinion, of course, you know, some of you could feel differently about that. Was it good? No, unfortunately. Like I said, I think this is better than Taken 2. There are actually things I found enjoyment in Taken 3 to make it overall, well, mediocre. It was an okay movie. Now, first of all, Liam Neeson. It doesn't matter what movie he's been in. He was badass in Taken. Even though Taken 2 sucked, he was badass in that one. And he was badass in Taken 3. It's because he has the amount of charisma to him that he's able to carry a movie shitty or good. And then you get Forrest Whitaker who plays the detective. You know, he's investigating all of these crimes. And I really like Forrest Whitaker. It really makes me sad that he's not in movies that much. But seeing him in this movie was just a lot of fun. I actually thought Forrest Whitaker really gave it his all in Taken 3. His character was interesting. The way he was investigating investigating um yeah could you say they're silly they're far-fetched the way he's doing some of these investigations yeah but at the same time I found it rather interesting from K Jensen he's gonna be barely in the movie she's only in the movie for I can honestly say maybe like five minutes it was good to see her I thought she did a good job and then Maggie Grace who believe it or not I actually do really like her ever since the first taken I've actually found to really like Maggie Grace. I like how in this movie she was starting to become more brave this time around. The other thing I actually really thought was good about Taken 3 was how Brian Mills' friends actually helped him. The father-daughter dynamic between Liam Neeson and Maggie Grace. Ever since the first movie, you bought them as father and daughter. In the second movie, although once again sucked, you still bought them as father and daughter, and it remains the same way in the third film. Even though it's not a very good movie, at least I was not bored. Because one thing I hated about Taken 2 is that I was so bored during that movie. I felt like there wasn't much happening with Taken 2. At least with Taken 3, I can honestly say more stuff happened. But, of course, there is a lot of problems with this movie. First of all, the action scenes. There is like maybe one action scene I found to be okay, but the other action scenes in this movie is so poorly edited. You know, it's cut after cut after cut after cut after cut. There's a scene where Brian Mills is jumping out of a fence. You see seven different cuts in like three seconds, and he's just jumping over a fence. 
The action scenes weren't bad. It's just the fact that they were poorly edited and that the actions do seem pretty piss poor. I didn't think the cinematography looked all that good. There were times where the film looks so fucking bright with the sun and you're just all like man tone down the lighting there it just got very distracting to go along with the many cuts that the movie has as for the storyline while it does have certain aspects that i did find to be intriguing and overall very well done the movie does feel messy like it feels all over the place with the storyline and it does get really convoluted especially Especially once it reaches to the finale. I don't mind predictability in movies, but oh my god, you could predict since I think after the first five minutes you could already predict where the hell this movie's gonna go. There were some silly moments that I won't lie, they made me laugh. But then there were some very silly moments that made me go, what the fuck? There were a couple of times where Brian Mills you would think in that certain situation he was gonna die. And he is still alive, not full of blood or anything. He's just out of nowhere. And you're like, um, weren't you in that moment where you were supposed to die? I mean, are you fucking Superman or anything like that? You know this movie gets silly when there's a scene where Liam Neeson has to fight the Lloyd lookalike, who's the villain, who is in Tidy Whitey's. The villain was in fucking Tidy Whitey's. I just couldn't help but laugh at that scene because it was so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't mind some of the silly moments, but there were some moments where the movie got too silly to the point where you're all like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Then I didn't think the villains in this movie were well done. They weren't well fleshed out. The Lloyd look-alike, he was a pretty pointless villain. So the villains, none of them were very well done in my opinion. And then not only that, but the movie rushes through a lot of moments. We were at this moment, to 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 this moment. Overall though, I thought Taken 3 was just an okay movie. But I can definitely understand why there's going to be a lot of hate for Taken 3. I gave the first Taken 3.5 out of 4 stars. That's an outstanding rating for me. I gave the second Taken 1.5 out of 4 stars. It was a bad movie. And now, what do I give Taken 3? Of course, 2 out of 4 stars. It was an okay movie in my opinion, but it is nothing too special and it is easily a very forgettable movie in my opinion. Oh! I gotta take this you guys. Hello? Hello Tony. You may not know me, but I know you. I could be anywhere in this room and you wouldn't even notice. I have a very particular set of skills that require more particular sets of skills than Liam Neeson himself. You mark my words, Tony. I will find you. And I will kill you. Hey, Caleb. Oh, hey, Tony. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Just finished reviewing Taken 3. Oh, awesome. What do you think of it? Eh, I thought it was okay. And you? Dear God, I thought it was a piece of crap. Why does Oliver Megaton have to keep making these crappy sequels? I don't know, Caleb. I really don't know. Well, as long as they don't make a Taken 4, all will be right with the world. Um, yeah, about that. I'm reading, unfortunately, that there's a possibility for a Taken 4. Are you serious? Yep. Darn it! Caleb? Hello? Hello? Um, okay then. Comment down below your opinion on Taken 3, and also I want to know from you guys, tell me which Taken sequel do you think is better, Taken 2 or Taken 3? Please subscribe to Caleb, the one that I just talked to on the phone right now. He makes very great movie reviews, he's very passionate about movies, and he is the reason you're seeing my new 22 Tiger Dude intros, my 22 Tiger Dude icons, and the lovely 22 
to Tiger Dude Banner. So if you haven't checked out his channel, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. And let's hope Taken 4 doesn't happen. Let's hope.